two or three in the morning, two forty eight a.m. Oh, anyway, um, every so many years, it's about three years on average, I get hit with sinus problems, and um, it's like somebody's taking a knife and slowly just turning it in my eye, in the back of my head, and my right side. And there's no way I can escape it or nothing. I just got to go through it. And um, so this is unfortunately that period of time. So I might be kind of flaky for the next few months. Uh, if you don't hear from me for a few days or whatever, it's because I'm going through this crap. Um, but it happens every so many years. I think it's something to do with the dust or winds from Africa, believe it or not. I've had it since I was a kid. And... Uh, it's not, it's not fun, but there's nothing I can do, and there's no solution I've ever come across. I wish there was. At the moment, I've got painkillers and uh, some good rye whiskey, so that'll have to do. Uh, but I will probably be up at odd hours, like what you're seeing right now, so that, that could be a benefit. Um, as you see on the banker token that I told you about the breakout, we are well above, and with the acceleration we had, um, it makes perfect sense, and it's very thinly floated. Um, if you were able to take advantage of this, fantastic. You have such upside on here, it's incredible. But uh, we'll see. Um, you know, Again, if you're above a few hundred percent or whatever crazy amounts, I would take half, yeah. Make it a risk-free trade, and you know, and see where the rest goes. Um, somebody asked me that a few PMs. And again, I'm probably not going to be answering a lot of messages. I'm going to be uh, uh, sometimes, you know, it's just uh, an unfortunate uh, side effect of this crap. Uh, it's very, and I mean very painful, and it lingers. You know, it goes on for days where you lose energy, and it's no fun. But uh, we'll try to get back to messages as quickly as I can when you guys do send them to me. Uh, you see where we are. Um, and uh, it was a good trade. Now, this wasn't an easy trade for many to even be able to trade because of the exchanges it, it was on. But technically, uh, I could see the setup as it was happening. Uh, and, and um, you know, it, it was there. It was clear. So... Uh, it looks really great. Um, now let me go back and we see that Bitcoin is pulling back. This is one that I thought would occur and it did. And it did it right around the 65k level. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah. So now it's building a shelf right here. Where does it go from here? Well, hopefully again, as I repeat myself once again, we could buy, start buying again at that 45k. Um, that would be optimal. Um, it's past the old high. It's created a one, two, three, one, two, three. So if it's able to break this, then the next one up would be towards up here, towards this uh, 70 to 73 level up here. So that would be the next step up if it breaks this one, two, three. Or, in my opinion, it's more likely to crater down. Even though everything that you've seen throughout here has been positive, which it has been for a while, this is actually build, building up a negative, uh, negatively in volume and also in price action. So those are two things that we are able to spot. That's why you're seeing me going more towards the sell side, like with our friend BNB, which I shorted from 500 and 600. So my average is around uh, the 550 area. And, um, you know, that is, uh, you know what I'm looking for there. I don't have to go on about it. Um, it extended all the way up here. That was pretty amazing. And I would sell more if it gets up to 700 or 800. And that's my top end right there. It still could break higher um, or it could collapse if Bitcoin pu pushes all the way back down uh, by a good degree. 
So that's what I'm looking for right there. Um, <clears throat> uh, one thing, what else did I wanted to I wanted to look at? Uh, I don't have to tell you about the LTC BTC. Um, it hit target above here. If we go back there, this is a trade from before. And from the buy zone that was down there, if you guys took advantage of this one, um, it is now traded above the target. And there you go. End of trade, end of story. Um, and also, let's go back to Wing. Well, last one I'll talk about is Wing. Wing went over and kind of double topped here. And is it's in the middle. Uh, if you did take half, as you know, per suggestion, anytime you're above 100% taking half, that's what I do. Um, again, I can't tell other people how to trade. I am not a, a financial advisor. I'm just a person who uh, would show you my thinking, psychology, my trading, and, and hope uh, people can uh, benefit off of that knowledge and, uh, you know, and so forth. Uh, I am completely humble to the market, as we all should be. Uh, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about you know paying attention to what's there. That's true. That, that's honestly true, and that's the most important thing. And it, all it takes is observation, and planning, and execution. Those three things. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to try to go get some sleep. I need it exhausted. So one thing about when you're in pain, and, 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 and it's a grinding pain, it just saps all your energy. But anyway, there's the update. Um, again, the banker trade was freaking crazy uh, in the way it moves. It was very thinly traded. And I don't have to tell you. Half off, you know, I've already explained that. And on to the next. We'll see what else I can come up with. And uh, I hope you guys have a good night and week in case I don't talk to you for a few days. Um, I'll be dealing with this crap. So have a great week.